Hey guys, Jen here in the North View Model Shop and I want to share with you something really, really cool. Guys, I've seen this watching the uh, Google Hangouts over at uh, International Scale Modeler and watching over at the Styron Syndicate and some of their Hangouts and there was a couple different guys that had this really weird looking block on their table that they were storing their parts in. And you guys, you all know, we take these bamboo sticks and we'll tape or glue a part onto it for holding for painting. And then this guy had this little block and he had stuck his parts in like so and it worked really really well now guys we had something similar we used just a big foam star foam or big star foam block it seemed to work okay just big and bulky and after you stuck something in one hole it just would start deteriorating over many times so i seen this and i couldn't figure quite what it was but i looked closer and it is corrugated, corrugated cardboard cut all sandwiched together and taped off it's pretty sturdy looked pretty good so guys Really cool. We made one. Now I'm thinking, I'm going to share this with you guys. So guys, don't forget, or keep in mind, this is not my idea. I've seen it online. I've seen other modelers making these. I'm going to show you how I made it. It might help you out. So guys, we're going to assemble this thing. And the first thing you need to do is get some cardboard and cut them all to the same length. Now this one, we're making a little bit longer. And I felt it needs to be relatively wide so it can keep itself upright. Uh, the only thing I would suggest is keep it, the dimensions, as close to possible as you can. One, it just kind of looks better, and two, it stays stable. So guys, we're going to slam this and fast forward with some really funky music, and uh, we're going to get this stuff assembled for you, and then we'll take it from there. All right, let's go. All right, guys, and there you have it. You see we added some double side tape to each piece just to kind of clamp it together to keep it so it was somewhat together to work with. And then what you didn't see is we went over to our chop saw and just cleaned the edges off so they're nice and square. Now what we do is keep one side perfectly level and flat and the other side's a little wonky. But as long as it sits relatively straight, you're good. Now, this is all you need to do where you go. But what I liked to do was take some of this really high-end blue tape I use high-end blue tape use loosely there because it's a little bit of a crap. But anyway, just down like so. And work our way around the stand. There, like so, and it is ready. Receive your next painting project. All right, guys, adios.